Greetings, I'm Pastor Phil, and we're here at St. Paul's United Church of Christ, downtown Wausau, Wisconsin. And this is a little thing we call Pastor's Pondering. It's nothing formal, but it's just me thinking about some of the things that are going on sometimes in the news or in our community, or whatever the case may be. And, and this time I'm gonna be a little bit proactive and do a little bit of pre-advertising even, because um, well, I was raised on the farm, and 4-H was a big part of my life as a kid, and we have the fair coming up really, really soon. And if you drive through the countryside, it's been, it's getting a little bit dry, actually. But for the most part, the corn looks good and everything looks good. And that makes me go all the way back to my roots bound at the farm. And when I was a, on the farm, I, I, I really, for some reason, enjoyed planting corn and raising corn. And I was really very good at it. The only problem was, that I lived at the bottom of a hill. And when you came over the top of the hill, when you're coming down, you could see, okay, for three whole months, just exactly how straight I drove that tractor when I planted that corn. Because if it was like this, well, that's what you noticed. And so I was pretty careful to always drive that tractor awfully straight, uh, just so it looked good for the neighbors who were all driving by. But at any rate, it takes me to a lesson in the Bible that um, I think is really kind of relevant for this time of the year. Well, actually a little bit earlier because it's about planting seeds. And it's from Matthew 13. The same day Jesus left the house and went to the lakeside where he sat down to teach. A crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat in it while the crowd stood on the shore. He used a parable to tell them many things. There once was a man who went out to sow grain, that's the, the plant grain, and he scattered the seed in the field. Some of it fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some of it fell on the rocky ground, where there was little soil. The seeds soon sprouted up, because the soil wasn't deep, but when the sun came up, it burned the young plants, and because the roots had not grown deep enough, the plants soon dried up. Some of the seed fell among the thorny bushes, which grew up and choked the plants. But some seed fell in good soil, and the plants bore grain. Some had 100 grains, others 60s, and others 30. And Jesus concluded, Listen, if you have ears, listen. Listen then and learn what the parable of the sower means. Those who hear the message about the kingdom but do not understand it are like seeds that fell among the weeds that fell on the path. The evil one comes and snatches away what was sown. The seeds that fell on the rocky ground stand for those who receive the message gladly, but as soon as they hear it, but it doesn't sink deep into them, and it doesn't last long. So when trouble or persecution comes, they simply give up at once. The seeds that fell among the thorn bushes stand for those who hear the message, but the worries about life and the love for riches choke out the message, and they don't bear fruit. And the seeds sown in the good soil that stands for those who hear the message and understand it. They bear fruit, some as much as a hundred or sixty, or others thirty. And this ends my lesson today that I'm reading to you, but it certainly reminds me of the fact that it is summertime in Wisconsin, and about May or early June, we all, that were farmers at least, planted, and that's when I would be planting corn. And then you wait, and through the summer months it grows, and then comes the harvest. So I also learned this, one of the reasons I grow really good corn, and this happened numerous times, by the way, where I'd plant early, and a frost would come along and, and injure the corn. So if corn is just barely up, it's okay, but if it's like four or five inches tall, it can cause some permanent damage. So often, instead of re-fertilizing again, I would just come along and replant corn seeds. So then the new seeds would grow, 
And sometimes the damaged seeds that I thought were probably dead from the frost would, would grow as well. So I would have a thick stand of corn, which led for a pretty good harvest. Well, one day a Sunday school teacher had been teaching about God to the Sunday school class, and she was teaching about Adam and Eve, and that we are all made of dust of the earth. So I'm referring here to soil. A little boy in the class said with alarm, you mean I made out of dirt? And the teacher responded, well, in a sense, yes. Well, he thought for a moment, processing the information that a four-year-old would process in his brain. And wide-eyed, he said, my mom is not going to be happy about that. So today I'm really sharing a story about dirt. Now, none of us like to be reminded that really we are made out of dirt. And yet you can construe our lesson for today to be telling us that, well, really that's just the case, we are. But before you get offended by that, let me give you some opportunity or some, some opportunity to explain. Today's gospel lesson appears in all of the gospels, synoptic gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, which suggests to me that it's an important lesson that we need to be paying some attention. So listen to these words of Jesus again. A farmer went forth to sow. That's the plant. As he was scattering the seeds, and of course, seeds are planted different in those days. Today, we have cedars or planters that do put it in straight rows. So that's why it was important for me to, when I was planting corn, make sure I grew in a straight row. So the planter would plant in a straight row. But if you're just scattering the seed, you know, you had a bag and took the seed and just scattered it, certainly would fly in all different directions. So... He says that when you're scattering the seeds, some will fall on the path and the birds will come and eat it up. And that's true. It says that some will fall in rocky places where it doesn't have much soil. Now, I need to tell you, back in the day when I was on the farm, picking rock was not my favorite job at all. On the other hand, you need to pick rocks, particularly here in Wisconsin, because every year the frost would bring up new rocks and nothing's gonna grow on a rock, right? Well, but around that rock, the soil is shallow and it might grow up quickly, but the sun comes up and scorches it and withers because the plant doesn't have an opportunity to establish a deep root. Other thorns, if you're scattering the seeds, fall among the thorns. Now we all know, if you're a gardener at all, that the weeds grow a whole lot faster than anything you ever planted. That's just the way it is. So we also know that those weeds can very quickly outgrow the plants that we want to have growing there and quite literally smother them out and kill them out. But we also know from our story that some of that seed falled on good soil. So imagine a farmer in those days planting seeds didn't have the sophisticated technology that we have today. As a matter of fact, um, John Deere, it's a company you all know well, they produce farm equipment, and we all know John Deere tractors. Eight years ago already, they actually invented a tractor which drives itself and is equipped with GPS guidance systems. So sowing seed, though, in those days were done by hand. So imagine if you would with me. Johnny Appleseed, another story we all know really well. Johnny Appleseed would have this sack over his shoulder and in it he had apple seeds and he'd fling those seeds and he would plant apple seeds all over the country where he went. But that's not the most important issue or fact about Johnny Appleseed. We all know that story. But Johnny Appleseed was a very good disciple of Jesus Christ because every place he went as he's distributing those apple seeds he would occasionally take a rest and sit down under the shade of whatever tree he could find and tell the stories now 
being raised on a Wisconsin dairy farm, I know how important it is to raise those crops. But I also know how important it is to share the stories of Jesus Christ. So today in my pondering, and as the fair is coming up pretty soon, I'm going to invite you to take a drive to the countryside and look at the crops that are growing. They're beautiful, number one, but they're very purposely planted. So I'm going to ask you to be a disciple too and to be very purposeful in planting the seeds of love and compassion and forgiveness and empathy really these days when we turn on the news we hear everything but those stories we're living in a culture that is very confused to say the very least and even questions about how to share hospitality and how to be a disciple and a, and a good servant of Jesus Christ I'm telling you today that this doesn't happen by accident. I'm inviting you to be very purposeful, to tell the stories of Jesus. At the very least, show the love and show the compassion. You know, it's easy. Sometimes it's as simple as a smile or a handshake or a hug. Sometimes it's as simple as perhaps pushing a wheelchair or washing a dish, or being with someone who's lonely. There are so many opportunities today to spread the good seeds that God has planted, I hope, right here in your heart. So go out there, enjoy the beautiful Wisconsin summer, take a drive to the countryside, look at the crops that are growing, and know that they, but more importantly, you, are a true blessing of God. So get out there and make a difference. Share with me first a moment of prayer. Wondrous God, we thank you that we are, I hope, the good soil that can be used to spread the gospel, the love, the joy, the hope, the forgiveness, of Jesus Christ and may we in a small or even in a much larger way make a difference in the lives of our brothers and sisters around us amen well thank you for sharing with me today today's kind of comes from the heart because I love talking about farming things it's just kind of the way it is so God bless you go out there and like I said make a difference and uh We'll catch you later. Bye for now.